He can recognize uh, objects. It has a camera on his nose. So it has a camera on his nose, so it can take pictures and feed it to the cloud. Uh, it is a subscription-based where it can it can upload uh, pictures to the cloud. There's also a camera on the back that is called a slam camera, and it uses that also to navigate around the house. Uh, and it'll use that to uh, it'll use that to find its way to the charging pad uh, that you'll see right behind our model. How many uh, behaviors might it have? For unlimited? Is this going to be updated on the internet? Uh, we don't have a number for that, but right now you can teach it many, many tricks. You know, sit, um, uh, lay down, shake, uh, shake its uh, whole body, um, and speak as well, you know, barking. How long can it go away from the charger and walk around for a couple hours? For 120 minutes, and then it'll need to be charged for three hours. But you, you at, at home, there'll just be the charge in the corner, so... Yes, I don't, you can see he's going over to the charging pad right now. So if you can maybe shift over. And that's, it, it's the dog right now. I have always finding the pad, lining it up, and then it'll lay down on the pad to start charging. Can you hide the, the pad inside a little dog house? Uh, you, you certainly can put it underneath objects. I don't know if I'd want to put it in a, in a strict maze. Um, but it does very well with finding it. Its is eye, AI is, is ultra is, fast. Is it good on all kinds of floors? Because people have lots of different kinds of floors, right? So we've had this on a wood floor. We've had it on the cement floor uh, and also the carpet. We're using carpet right now just to keep the noise down uh, from people walking up on stage and from Ibo making noise while walking. So it barks? Uh, it does speak, yes. But does it speak English? It, it, or just it, barking it barks. Only? Bark is an international language. Is there any chance it might be able to speak languages later? Because uh, if it can bark, that, that can, has yet to be determined. You maybe added a, like a, a record of uh, your own voice and make it speak with your voice. And you can also program it if you want it to be a female dog or a male dog. And what uh, you can touch the paws to program it. Yes, by when you, I don't know if you can see, but underneath the paws, the touch pads are sensor. So when it's time to program it, if you want to teach it a new trick or a dance, you would simply have it sit, it would prop up, you'd hold the paws, push in the buttons, and maneuver uh, Ibo the way you want to, and it'll learn that trick. Uh, and you put that into the uh, user experience, and you save it as a trick. And it does an amazing job. Uh, I don't know if we'll see Ibo dancing, but we've taught these dogs how to uh, dance, and it's 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 quite unique. Does it have kind of like a microphone array, a high quality, so you can re understand what you're saying from far away in the room? Yes, I, not like a, necessarily like far away. Like the problem we're having now is it's so loud in here that our models who are playing with Ibos, um, there's so much outside noise that it's hard for the dogs to hear. So, so right now it's not active for the voice commands. But it, it, it is searching for the voice commands. It is yes. It's constantly searching for yes. trigger words, right? Kind yes. of like a. So now, so she's playing, she's telling the dog to uh, kick the ball to her, that's why it kicks. So what's the target market? It's, it's, it's not just families with kids, right? Uh, target market, it, it, it's really for anybody. It, it really is somebody for anybody, with families, uh, people who live alone, uh, with multiple people. Uh, and again, the more people in the household talk to it, the more friendly it becomes with that person. And so the price is around $2,000? About $1,700 US, yes. $1,700. So it's a big update from IBO number one, right? Very big. So the other thing is, looking at this IBO versus the original one, this is more rounded. So it's more uh, of a, uh, a, a natural feel to it. Uh, if you also look at the eyes, the old Ibo uh, had that shield going over the face. Uh, this one has OLED um, eyeballs, and they react to petting. So when you pet the chin, pet the back, pet the head, the eyes shut. It looks in multiple directions as well. And it downloads the new behavior of the internet? Yes, yeah, so it's connected via Wi-Fi or LTE, and it does updates similar to a smartphone. Can we install apps on it? Uh, at this point, uh, that is yet to be uh, announced. If you want your dog to be like a terrier style or more like a... I'm not sure about that. I don't know yeah. how it works, but maybe you <laughs> to can To change the tone like of the bark. Uh, crazy yeah. dog or quiet dog. So here we go, we can look. Yes. So if you look now, if you zoom in on his eyes, you can see the blink. 
Uh, if our model here pets the top of the head or underneath the chin, it'll react. See how it's similar to real dogs. And the ears are moving. So, so it's got lots of uh, special sensors? Yes. Not just regular stuff? Yes. And there's also 22 actuators on it. You know, talking about the elbows, uh, the, the, how it pivots on the feet. And it's, the uh, ears, the it's, tail. it's not going to break too easily? No. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yes. But if you have a, a house with stairs, hopefully it won't fall down the stairs. Correct. With the sensors, it'll prevent that. So. Hopefully, yeah. I think it'd be awesome if you could uh, if you could get notification like Facebook notifications and stuff or something like that. They could alert you. You got a new email. You should check it out. <laughs> Usually, dogs they alert when there's fire, right? But this one could alert for like more tech tech things. You could dictate you could dictate the email reply email to it, and it would send the email back to your mom. Right. It should be like a... It, it might become overwhelming if it becomes really, really good at stuff. So now she's playing with the eye bone. Um, and what the dogs will do is they will use their AI to locate the bone, line up with the bone to actually pick up the bone. Uh, yeah. With its commands, it will... You can tell Ibo to drop the bone. Um, so... So now you're gonna see Ibo look at the bone, find it using its AI. Uh, locating it and how it'll line up to pick up. And uh, one of the coolest things that I thought maybe from the keynote was when uh, Kazuro Hirai said, and this is just the beginning. Yes. So uh, I, I think it would be awesome if Sony had a whole bunch of robots on the market in the future, all kinds of stuff. And that would, that would make you very busy, right? You're in the sales department. Right? right. Like he said, it's only the beginning. So uh, where we go from now, uh, we do not yet know. The plant. They could be a smart plant, could be a smart paintings, smart lamps. Uh, so you could be at the forefront of making... Possibility uh, is endless. It is endless. 